hey guys welcome back to my channel so i showed you guys recently how i achieved this kinky straight look using some 25 dollars beauty supply store hair and today we're going to transform that straight hair into pretty curly hair to extend the longevity of our 25 dollars so if you're interested in replicating this look please stay tuned so to start off, you're just going to need a few quick items. I'm using two different size perm rods to mimic our natural curl pattern. I want to have a smaller one and a medium size curling rod. I'm using a detangling brush. This is by Goody. I'll have a link below if you're interested. But I'm going to go ahead and split the hair into three large sections. I'm going to have two in the front and one large one in the back. And to begin perm rotting this hair, I'm going to go ahead and section off the back section to start with. That way I can figure out how I want to lay the perm rods. Taking medium sized sections, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the largest size perm rod that I'm using today, which is the medium size perm rod. In my actual natural hair, my curl pattern is not the same around my entire head. I have a much looser curl pattern in the back and a tighter curl pattern in the front. So I'm going to mimic that as I lay my perm rods. Towards the top, I went ahead and just mixed and scattered the perm rods because I have a mixture of textures in my natural hair. So grabbing a big bowl of boiling hot water I went ahead and filled this up with a pot of water and I'm go going to go ahead and dip my hair into this bowl to soak you're just gonna let your perm rods and your wig go ahead and soak for about two to three minutes no longer than that you know this is synthetic hair it is plastic it will burn And you could pretty much use this dipping in the hot water technique for pretty much any synthetic hair. If it's 100% synthetic, it will melt and form into the actual curl pattern or rod that you set the hair with. So I'm just going to go ahead and take down the hair. It took me about two days to let this dry. The cap took the longest to dry. The hair actually dried itself on the first day. So a lot that time in your schedule if you're trying to wear your hair and this perm rod is set for an event or something like that. You want to make sure that you have enough time to let it dry. So I'm just going ahead and taking down the rods and as you guys can see the back has a much looser curl pattern and the front has the tight curl pattern I was telling you guys about which pretty much mimics how my natural hair would look. Now this part is where you can customize it to your own liking. I personally like that really, really nice big and fluffy hair so I don't like the perfect curls. You could totally leave it like that and style it how you want to but I'm going to go ahead and stretch my curls and make it so much more bigger and voluminous. So you can do this by finger raking the hair or finger combing it as well as pulling the actual curls apart and laying them where you want them to lay. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely don't sleep on that beauty supply store hair. If you know what you're doing, you can make it last for a very long time and be balling on a budget, looking fabulous on a budget. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoy tutorials like this where I help you guys save your money and still look fabulous. And be sure to check the description box for all the products used today as well as a link to my app which is available for all of my Apple iOS users and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.